Shakur Stevenson is a talented multiweight champion and one of boxing's fastest rising stars. There's a lot to like about Stevenson's flashy, highly entertaining style. He has crisp, guard-splitting combinations. Crushing body shots. and an inherent talent for putting techniques commonly found in dramatically different styles together in interesting, creative ways. But what really stood out to me when studying Stevenson's style was his ability to shape and control both the space around him and his opponent. Stevenson controls his own positioning through refined footwork and head movement, presenting a masterclass in distance management and he controls his opponent's space through grappling techniques, cutting off lines of attack at their source. This makes for a really fascinating style. So, let's jump right in. When it comes to defense, boxers want to ensure that their opponent's punches have as little chance to hit them as possible, while at the same time remaining as close as they can to said competitor so that it's easier to land counters. Stevenson operates on the very edge of the line between safe and reckless. But because he does so in an intelligent manner, opponents are left hitting air. A lot of this comes down to Stevenson having refined and specific techniques for each distance. While many boxers prefer to add on some extra clearance to create a buffer in case they misjudge distance, Stevenson is perfectly happy to stay in place and pull back just enough. If head movement alone isn't possible, the next step is to, well, step. But even this is nuanced, as depending on the distance, Stevenson can simply step off with his back foot or leap away. Either way, Stevenson will be ready with a counter, at times stopping short to sit down on his punch, and at times rebounding forward. If the opponent is being especially aggressive, Stevenson will add a shuffle to a step, sometimes called a quick retreat. But even with such a dynamic motion, Stevenson still has the timing and athleticism to rebound off his back foot into a counter. Similarly, Stevenson can L-step rather than shuffle, creating an inside angle to counterattack. And speaking of inside angles, Shakur is one of those fighters that loves to adjust position with footwork as he punches. This can force a competitor to constantly reposition in order to stay squared up. In particular, Stevenson loves to pivot into rear-hand attacks. And sidestep into hooks. Slide adjustments and positioning like this can make a huge difference because boxing is a game of inches. Notice how Stevenson's angled step out results in his opponent's hook merely grazing his shoulder, whereas the punch would have been much closer to his head before. The step also shortens the path of Stevenson's own hook. Stevenson does a whole lot to mitigate a competitor's offense through grappling techniques, such as bars and frames. And this is one of his favorite ways to set up his crushing body blows. Stevenson has sticky hands in general, constantly securing his opponent's guard even while mid-exchange. This not only stifles their attacks before they can even attempt them, it also denies them space for head movement. 
But his coolest sequence by far, in my opinion, is his lead hand guard disruption, paired with body shots off the rear hand. Stevenson's lead hand is incredibly versatile in general, and when it comes to grappling, he can set up body shots with basic frames. Full on forearm bars, sometimes used to splinter through an opponent's guard, and collar ties. I've talked in the past about how Lomachenko will use a rear hand frame to set up outside angles. Stevenson likes to do the opposite, using his lead hand to set up inside angles, often targeting the opponent's liver. If a competitor attempts to shut these kinds of tactics down by clinching with Stevenson, they usually find themselves greatly outmatched. Because Stevenson has a talent for placing punches even at close range. Here too, Stevenson excels at pairing unusual techniques together. For instance, here Shakur turns the usual elbow flare common in shoulder rolls into a forearm frame, and then extends his arm to push the opponent back to make space for a follow-up shot. All while slipping a straight. I would guess this wasn't even drill, but is something that Stevenson found useful in sparring, or maybe even came up with on the spot. There's one more point I want to touch on. It's important to note that a lot of Stevenson's ability to smoothly blend techniques together has to do with how fantastic he is at maintaining his own rhythm. Being able to keep your preferred rhythm while still reacting to an opponent is a very difficult thing to do. And Stevenson has obviously put the work in here because it's rare to see him miss a beat, whether he's defending, attacking, or transitioning between the two with zero hesitation. I have a very long breakdown and analysis on rhythm coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. It's rare for me to find modern day boxers with styles that really get me excited and interested in watching their upcoming fights. But I'm looking forward to following Stevenson's journey for years to come. And I can't wait to see just how much further he can go and how he deals with the contests and trials ahead. If you would like to learn more about tactics and techniques, you can check out my best-selling books on footwork, head movement, and power, linked below. From the Modern Martial Artist, this has been David Christian, wishing you happy training.